Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the formatting example, and we're going to improve this bunch of data here for a couple of different centers and their information, the volume that they're working with on each day here. So we're going to make this much more visible. First of all, we're going to format this as a table. And then we are going to add two columns to calculate weekdays and week numbers. So let's do that. The weekday, we want that displayed as the actual weekday. The best way of doing it is just copying the same information over there. Of course, that gives you the same information. And I'm going to, now going to format that using the format cells here as a date. Uh, but I want it to only display the actual weekday. So let's see if we have on. Uh, finished with that? No, we don't. So we need to go into custom. We can type the day just like this. So MMM and it gives you month. But what I want is DDD, of course, Wednesday. Swedish for some reason, yeah. The regional settings is Swedish. That's why I get the, if I put the extra D there, then I get the full Wednesday, which is Wednesday in Swedish. There we go. I have the calculation for weekday and all those. And then the week number, which is very popular in Sweden too. To add that, let's move this out of the way. I'm just going to use the week number function. Um, the week number function is like that, week num. You simply uh, use the date and the return type, and which is the first day of the week, the um, Sunday in this case. So uh, now we're going to format the numbers with a thousand separator. That's always what makes it look better. What I did there was just go to the top row and press the shift, control, and down arrow to select all the numbers very quick. And then I'm going to add a thousand separator, and I don't want any decimal points. And then we're going to create a pivot table. And we do that on the table tools, which is, of course, thanks to the format as table that I did before. And I'm going to go and summarize this with a pivot table. I'm going to put the volume here on values. And again, I want a thousand separator on those numbers, like that, and no decimals. And then I'm going to do date on row, group by year and month, and then center on columns. So we're going to do a date. I'm going to put that on rows, like that. And then uh, to group this by year now, I'm going to right click here on this label and use the group function. And as the pivot function here understands that this is a date format, I can select which levels I want to group at all the way down to seconds. And then I can just collapse the entire field. And now, of course, I can break into the months and the quarters. So I can just analyze the data in any way I want. And of course, then we're going to add the uh, centers on the columns. There we go. And now I'm going to do a stack chart. So I'm going to insert a pivot chart. And that's going to be a stacked column table like that. And that displays all of the data in a much nicer way. So that concludes my demo. I've done all the different steps. Thank you for watching this demonstration.